Hey no family, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video, y'all. And in this video, which is long overdue, I'm gonna be doing a Lisa Frank inspired set. This was inspired by one of my clients, shout out to Miranda. She sent me this set, which was from, I'm gonna put it up on the screen, the original, um, that the set was from i don't want to butcher her name that is the photo that my customer sent to me and wanted me to do for her a press on set i'll actually insert her press on set on the screen as well so you all can see but i posted that to my community tab and you all said you wanted to see a tutorial so i did it on myself and that's what we're going to be doing y'all so without further ado let's get right into the video the acrylic that i will be using for this set is going to be me secrets cover pink and it is going to be the only acrylic powder that i use for this set the entire rest of the set is going to be all gel with the colors and everything is going to be all gel the tips that i have on are actually um acrylic creameries um 3xl coffin tips and then i am using nail house size 16 kalinsky brush as well as their pro monomer and to anyone interested in shopping nail house can find the link to their site in the description below and use my code portia for savings so you all are probably like what coffin yes coffin i decided to go with coffin this time because i never really do other shapes um and you all were saying that i didn't do coffin as much and tapered square is my favorite shape and the reason why i stick with that is because it complements my hand and my fingers and because it's my favorite shape um i have a really small nail bed so coffin and like stiletto doesn't complement my hand well because they look like really slim i wish i had a little bit wider and like bigger nail beds so that other shapes would look like you know like normal on me but in my opinion they just look really like slim and skinny um but anyway yeah so we won't cough in this time and i actually thought it did fit this lisa frank design i think it looks better coffin than it would have looked square but anyway you all i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys enjoy this application and pop back in in a bit
All right, you all, this is how we're looking with the application all the way complete. And I'm not gonna do any encapsulating or anything like that. Of course, because this is a cover color and it doesn't need to be encapsulated, I'm just gonna move straight into shaving and filing. And this is just a reminder that I do have an application as well as a shaping video for beginners in the description below. Very detailed, um, very in-depth. And because I do get that question a lot, as well as a few other videos that you all may be looking for, like my pop-off method and things like that, I do have those core videos linked in the description below, um, just in case you guys are interested. I'm going to hop straight into shaping and filing using my 8080 grit file. And then I will actually have the files linked in the description below because I did get that question the other day on my live um, about what files that I use. And they are from AliExpress. I love them. I get them in a pack of like 50 pieces for about $20, $21-ish, something like that. Super um, inexpensive, a bang for your buck. I don't know where you can get 50 files for $21. Um, yeah, that's... Y'all, you know, your girl is, well, I tell y'all that I'm frugal. I like to get a bang for my buck. Um, I don't like to, you know, spend crazy amounts of money on things that I know I can get that are pretty much the same thing somewhere else, like my favorite site, which is AliExpress or like Shein or something like that um for a more reasonable price if i can but that's just me anyway yes like i said going in with my 88 grit file following the surface of the nails then underneath the nails followed by the sides and then um straightening the tips and then lastly still in my cuticles but like i said you all again can find my shaping tutorial that's more in depth and go into very much detail um that video in the description below and tons and tons of y'all have said that that video have helped y'all so much with your shaping and i so love that for y'all so i do highly recommend checking that video out
it's the shape for me. These almost look like a set that was done with forms. But anyway, you all, this is how we're looking so far. I'm going to go ahead and buff the nails now and clean them. And then we're going to get into the part that we've all been waiting for, the design. All right, y'all. So, as anyone could guess, I use a bunch of different gels for this look in order that I'm showing you all, them being Nail House's Pinky Ring, Nail House's Lime Wire, Nail House's Sprung, Nail House's Grape Soda, Madam Glam's Barbie Girl, Madam Glam's Neon Sun, Madam Glam's Screaming Summer Neon, Madam Glam's neon lime green and then the last two that i'll be using the first one the first one to last is going to be um beetles actually number a773 and then the last one is going to be zule's gel polish oh actually it's not the last one so this one is zule's gel polish number 21 the white one and then the last one that i'll be using that you all will see me grab is going to be um madam glam's perfect black that was a mouthful okay y'all so moving into the design i am going to be painting the base of all of these nails white using zule's gel polish number 21 all of them will be white you all the reason i go in with the white first is to make the color pop anytime you want to do neon nails i recommend you doing a white base so that the colors can really really pop so i'm going to go on with actually just one coat of this white gel on all the nails cure for 60 seconds and then i'm going to come back and you all will see how i do the color i don't use any base coat i probably should but i never do and I never have an issue but i don't use any base coat i just go right in on the nails but i guess the proper way is to use base coat but anyway yeah like i said i'm gonna go in on all of these nails with the white gel that is the first step Okay, y'all, so that's how that white base is looking. It's not perfect, doesn't have to be, because we're going to go right on top of that with some more gel, the actual design. So, as you all see, I laid out some, or I put some polish on the palette, starting off first with blue and green. As you all will see, whatever color that I leave off on on the last nail will be the color to the next nail and so forth with the rainbow colors or the colors that, you know, we're using um the first colors again that i were using the green one is madam glam's uh lime green and then or neon lime green and then the blue one is beetles um number a733 and i'm gonna be using nail house's round brush 
highly recommend that brush but as you all see i just apply the color to each side and then as you all saw i put the palette or the colors on the palette you'll see at the top i put the two colors together um which really will help with your ombre and i learned that trick from zule and then i put the other the same colors at the bottom just separately because um i'm gonna be going in on each side with that just to like kind of clean it up so as you all see i take the two colors on my brush and i blend them back and forth from left to right so that the green blends with the blue and vice versa you want to blend 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 on each side until you feel like your ombre is how you want it to look so again blend the colors left and right left and right bring each color on each side so that they can blend together and that them being together on that palette and them being on the brush at the same time actually helps it brings it all together once i apply it and ombre it down the nail and then if i feel like i need more of a certain color on one side that's what i will do and i'll just blend 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 um that's all there is to it really um and then i'm just gonna do one thin coat of it when you're doing this you want to be careful that you do um like thin layers of it you don't want to try to go in and do one layer just do thin layers because then that way actually looks better as well um so i'm just gonna be doing this one thin layer cure it for 60 seconds come back and do the same thing with a second layer and you all will see i'm gonna repeat that same thing on all of the rest of the nails and like i said you all will see that whatever color that i leave off on on the previous nail is the color that i will start with on the next nail also don't know how many of you all caught that this is our second layer here so you can see how much better it looks opposed to the first layer that's why you want to do two thin layers of um the colors I'm going to go in now on the next nail with this yellow, which is again, nail, not nail houses, sorry, Madam Glam's um, Neon Sun. And then I'm going to use um, nail houses Lime Wire, this one here, actually to mix it in there because I wanted a more opaque neon. Um, so that's what I did. And I'm going to um, use again the same green because remember that we are starting off the next nail with the same color that we used previously. Um on the previous nail also not gonna lie well at least for me because i'm a little bit of a perfectionist um something that i battle with and um i've been doing a little bit better with but anyway um this did take me quite some time um it does take quite some time to do this um if you're like using gel to ombre and but it's so worth it it's so worth it but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch the process or this process rather and i will pop back in when we're done with ombre ink
all right you all this is how we are looking this is so super cute y'all at this point i was super obsessed and i'm like i would literally wear these nails just like this but like with nothing else on it and i'm not a simple like or basic girl like i always pretty much have to have something on my nails like a design or something but these i would wear literally just like that with some top coat and boom done but um for the sake of doing some lisa frank nails we're gonna go ahead and do like the cheetah print and all of that so i'm gonna be using those all of those colors that i mentioned to you all earlier as you can see i pulled out the madame glam's perfect black and we're gonna get into the cheetah design y'all disclaimer for one i am aware that the um there's like a little like lint pieces and things like that in the gel but you can't really notice it it's just like for me i don't know i don't know what it is it's kind of inevitable that i get like little lint pieces or whatever that is under that gel that's in the gel i really hate that like it's always something in my gel but it's okay and you won't notice it once the top coat is done and all of that but and then also for two i do know that my thumbnail um i don't know why i put that white gel on it as well um and cure all the nails i always do the gel on my thumb last like in top coat anything because that nail doesn't cure like so good um in the lamp sideways so i messed up with that um at the stage of the white gel and it kind of bubbled a little bit as you all can see on that pink there but I tried to ignore it for the sake of these are just pop-off nails um, and it didn't bother me that much and it wouldn't be noticeable at all once we did the cheetah design and top coat it. So anyway, um, as you all can see, I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and all of these beautiful colors on these nails. I'm going to do them randomly and just trying not to get the same color next to the other um, and on like by, you know, the other nails as well. I'm going to be drawing these random little um, like dots and they're not even really dots. They're kind of just like blobs like, you know, like they're not perfect at all. You don't want them to be like round, circular, perfect dots. You want them to kind of look a little crazy because cheetah print is not perfect, right? So that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to cure that and then we're going to come back and do the black and make the cheetah print look complete. Also, I did want to mention that I don't know how many of y'all have been catching my lives lately, but if you haven't, um, you all can catch the playbacks of the lives on my channel. But I wanted to mention that I did a Lisa Frank set recently on live. Um, if y'all don't see me posting like regular videos here, sometimes check my live tab. Um, I don't have a regular schedule for going live or anything like that. I just kind of go live uh, randomly. But anyway, they are there available for you all to watch. I said that to say that I did a Lisa Frank set recently that was super cute. So check that out if you haven't already. And actually yesterday I did a like unicorn set. That was super fun um, hanging out with you guys and uh, doing those really, really cute nails. But anyway, I just wanted to mention that. So this is how we're looking with all of the dots complete. I am just going to go in now with Madame Glam's Perfect Black and create these uh, random like little swiggly lines on the outside of these dots to make it like the whole cheetah print or cheetah vibe, you know? And again, these lines don't have to be perfect at all. You want them to actually be imperfect because um, that's what make it look like cheetah. You know, you don't want them to be like straight lines, if you know what I'm saying. So I literally did this in like maybe not even a minute like i did this so quickly because you don't have don't even think about it that is my advice to you when you're doing this cheetah design like i don't even think about it i just go so i outlined those little dots to make the um the main cheetah look and then i'm gonna go in and create like these small other like little cheetah lines without anything else just the black um around and like little random dots and things like that y'all y'all know but i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch this process
all right you all this is how we are looking like these are so beautiful i am loving the colors they are so beautiful and vibrant they're very much summer like i love it so much like shout out to um the person who did the original well y'all with these nail designs and everything like that we never know who the original is but shout out to the person i got the inspo from i inserted her photo in the beginning of this video don't want to butcher her name the set she did was really beautiful and yeah that was our info for today's set y'all like these are gorgeous i am gonna go ahead and apply um dynamic no supplies uh shiny top coat and then this is how we are looking y'all they're so cute and i actually forgot to go in and do like matte to see how they would look matte i know they look bomb like i just know they would y'all know i love matte but we had to go shiny for this look or i just wanted to you know but anyway <laughs> these are so bomb like not something that i would typically wear like i don't do like crazy colors and things like that but these are just so pretty y'all so pretty perfect for the summer and like pride as well y'all so y'all know we're in pride month happy pride and yeah y'all these are just beautiful gorgeous like i love them and they're just as bright if not even more bright and vibrant in person but anyway if you all enjoy this video and love you as much as i do give the girl a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below actually spam the comments with some rainbow emojis for me subscribe to my channel if you have not already and turn on those bell notifications so that you're notified each and every single time that i post a new video thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one bye for now